Hello everyone, and today I just wanted to make a video about my 1990 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Just now, me and my dad have basically finished everything that was going on with it. And one of the reasons I wanted to make this video was to have it as sort of a time capsule so I could look at it in the future how it is now, since right now, everything's working well. Also because I like seeing when other people show off their cars and I figure, hey, someone might like to see mine. I got this after my grandfather passed. I've done some modifications to it, um, although most of the money I've spent on it was just repairs, like I had to do something with the steering rack and the brake rotors were warped, stuff like that. And aside from that though, I, I put on a cutoff valve, which if you have a car like this, I would highly recommend they sound very good. I don't like to rev it too high, sorry. And of course the benefit of a cutoff valve is that you don't have to have it running all the time. So if you live in a neighborhood or something, you don't annoy all your neighbors. Um, I replaced all the speakers in it with Pioneer. Uh, I can't remember what brands, but I just know they're all Pioneer. And I replaced the head unit, which was an old Pioneer in fact, with a Jensen um, 2049, I think. If you want a screen, I would definitely recommend this. And also because it's a pressure screen, uh, in the winter when it's cool and you got gloves on you don't have to take them off to use like you would with a normal touch screen So that's something I like about it in the rear of the car. I put in a bazooka tube. It's a 10 inch um, Just because the pioneers they didn't have too much bass and this honestly just adds the right amount of bass and for me honestly sometimes they can get a little too loud but if you want something that's very easy to install I would get yourself a bazooka tube. It's it was, I mean, I had some friends help me, but honestly, I probably could have figured it out on my own. Uh, but the interior, uh, it's in relatively good shape. Uh, unfortunately, by the driver's door, the leather uh, armrest, the leather armrest cracked. Although this seems to be a common fail spot on like almost all of these. Like I, I look on Facebook and I see that almost all of them are cut there, which is unfortunate. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video was just to have a time capsule so I could look back on it five, ten years from now since everything's working and it's, you know, I just got all the panels all around the car that are right below the door. We, Me and my dad got those fixed. We JB welded them. If you have the same issue, I'd recommend using JB weld and I believe it's the sheet drywall uh, repair tape, but we use those two things to repair it and also it is my first car and I don't really know of too many people who or have a video of like their first car when it's basically in the tip top shape because right now this is all the projects that i've had with this car are finished which i'm really happy and i'm really excited i don't have anything else i really want to do i want to keep it stock uh for now at least with just the looks and stuff because i i just really like those looks uh, you don't see it anymore in cars but uh yeah i just wanted to make a video uh, as a time capsule and also to show it off because I like watching other people's cars and I figure hey someone might like to watch mine so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're having a great day and this has been the Duke signing off